Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on switching theory. So before we go into the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. So in switching theory, we are going to use switches, as name suggests, switching theory, to implement the Boolean expressions and logic gates. So a switch is represented as shown. Here we are connecting two terminals. A and Y with a switch in between. When the switch is closed, the current can flow from A to Y and when the switch is open, the current will not flow from A to Y. So by using the switches, we are going to implement the Boolean expressions and logic gates. Switches can be connected in two fashions, either in parallel as shown or in series as shown. So now let us implement the Boolean expression and logic gates using switches. So this is a simple circuit where we have a source V and the output Y and a bulb which close when the current is flowing and we have a switch A. So for representation I have keeping the switches open. So when the switch is closed the current will flow and the bulb will glow. So when the switch is open the current will be stopped and the bulb will not glow. So when A is 1 that is closed the output Y will become 1 and when A is 0 that is open then the Y will become 0. So it is acting like a buffer. So the circuit and the buffer are having the same logic. So now let us take another network and decide its behavior. So now the switch is connected in different fashion. So before it was here, now it is connected over here. Now let's see what will happen when the switch is closed and open. So when switch is open, the bulb will glow because the current will flow. And when the switch is closed, the bulb will not glow. Why? The current is going to ground. So the bulb will not glow. So when switch is open, that is A equals to 0, Y equals to 1. And A equals to 1, Y equals to 0. It is acting like a NOT gate. So there you go. This circuit behaves as a NOT gate. So now let's take more than one switch and arrange in parallel and series fashion and check the functionality. So I have taken two switches A and B and connected them in series. So when will the bulb will glow? When both the switches A and B are closed, then only the bulb will glow. That means A equals to 1, B equals to 1, then Y will be 1. If any of the switches is 0, that is open, the current will not flow from the source to the bulb and it will not glow. So Based on this behavior, you can say that it is behaving like an AND gate. So when two switches are in series, they behave as an AND logic. So now let's connect them in parallel and see the logic. So when will the bulb glow? When A is closed? Yes. When B is closed? Yes. When both are closed? Yes. And when both are open, then only the bulb will not glow. So this scenario is similar to OR logic. So this circuit is representation of OR logic. So Y equals to A plus B. So the parallel switches are connected in a different fashion in this network. So the bulb will glow when both of the switches are open. When either of the one is closed then the bulb will not glow. So it is behaving as a complementary to OR gate. So this is NOR gate. So Y equals to A plus B whole bar. So now the switches are connected in series but in complementary fashion. So when will be the lamp glowing? If both are open, yes it will glow. Either of the one is open, then it will glow. When A is open, Yep, it is correct. B is open alone, then also it will glow. But 
whenever both the switches are closed then lamp will not glow because the current will flow to ground and the output will become zero so this circuit is behaving like an NAND gate so we have implemented NOR and NAND the universal gates and an R buffer and not so these are the basic gates so I'm gonna give you this complex structure please answer down in the comment section below so please answer which what is the logic for this complex structure down below in the comments and if you have any doubts comment down below and I'm always ready to help you and thanks for watching be brave I have no fear